Back in July of 2021, Google Ads introduced a strike system for accounts that repeatedly violated specific ad policies. Now I'm recording this in May of 2022, and Google just sent out another email just a week or so ago saying that they were going to add nine additional policies to the strike system. So in this video, we will cover the nine policies that were added to this system. We'll go over what happens if you get a warning or a strike in each of the steps. And then last, we'll go over the acknowledgement and appeal form. So the acknowledgement form will cover if you know that you made a mistake, but you say you will correct it so you can get your account back online. And the appeal form, which is the same thing, will cover what you may want to tell Google to say that, hey, you gave us a strike. It's a mistake. We didn't violate any policies. So we're going to cover all that in today's video. So let's get started. So this video is going to be a little bit different since we're not really showing you something like a campaign setup or anything within the channel. This is really all policy changes. So I apologize for mostly PowerPoint and looking at specific web pages, but that is the best way to explain what is going to be changing and to get more familiar with the three strike policy. So while there are updates coming, the strike based system is not really new. It's already implemented in a few different policies. Some of these include guns, weapons, explosives, other weapons. Additional policies include tobacco and certain unapproved substances and anything regarding dishonest behavior. But most likely you received an email that the strike based system will be going through some updates starting on June 21st. And that is going to be the addition of nine more policies. Now the update on June 21st won't all happen to all of the nine policies at once. Google did say it'll be a gradual rollout over a period of three months starting on June 21st. So as it states on the slide right here, it's going to affect nine additional policies. So I'm going to go through the nine additional policies, show you links of where you can find each of them. Some of them may be a little bit uncomfortable, which I apologize for, but these are already established policies within Google ads. I'm not going to stick on this first one really long because it is kind of awkward, but the first new policy added to the strike based system is compensated sexual acts policy. The link is on the screen right now. Very adult theme related. Again, I'm not sticking on this one long. So for whatever reason, if you have an account that falls within anything regarding sexual acts, be very aware of it. Next is going to be mail order bride still falls within adult content, but it does have its own page. There's the link on the screen. This one's pretty straightforward. If you are a mail order bride company, you are not allowed to advertise on Google ads. The next policy added to this update is clickbait ads. And there's a few different components here. If you're using very vague text like click here, or as what Google has in their example, you won't believe what happened. Most likely those are eventually going to get flagged and you're going to get a warning or a strike. Besides just the text portion of the ad, if you look at the second red X, anything that includes negative life events, any imagery or wording regarding death, injury, any potential crime, those sort of things, those will also get you flagged. Now the fourth policy violation added is just going to have me scrolling down to misleading ad design. Most likely this is going to be for your image ads. Any ads that are designed to make it look like it has a certain function that doesn't actually exist and it just sends you to a website, that's going to fall under this category. Another example, you may have seen them out and about as if those ones that potentially flash like computer error, fix it now, those sort of things that are pretty misleading, hence the title. Other examples are if you include a mouse arrow within your ad and you're having it moving around, that sort of manipulative type design also going to get violated. So use your best judgment here. There's definitely more examples than what I just gave. The next added industry is going to be related to bail bonds or bounty hunters. So sorry to all you Boba Fett wannabes. Anything regarding that specific industry is not allowed. However, general legal services and representation are not affected. Next will be call directories, call forwarding and recording services. Most of the information is in the purple highlighted section, but notice the unhighlighted portion. This policy does not restrict ads for online directory services or call recording software. Next, looking more towards the top will be credit repair services. We have had some experience working with clients in this area and it was difficult and they eventually did get flagged. Even though it was a legit company that was trying to do something good, it's just still one of the industries or policies not allowed on Google. The main issue is that there's just too many bad apples out there that ruin it for the good guys. So all credit repair services are not allowed and it will fall under ad violations and you will get a warning. Scrolling up a little bit, binary options has now been added to the list. This includes actual trading as well as products related to binary. It could be about education, software, the actual act of trading itself. All of those are lumped into binary options. And the last policy added to the strike based system is related to personal loans. 
As you can see in the not included section, this does not include mortgages, car loans, student loans, certain things like credit cards, and a lot of the policy information really has to do with the lack of providing additional information. So you see with the four red X icons, what actually is not allowed. I'm not gonna read all four to you. I do have the link on the screen, so you can check those out for yourself. So now we know what nine policies were added to the strike base system. So let's walk through what happens if you violate any of these policies. When you hear about strikes, you think of baseball, you think you get three of them. And that's kind of the case, but with this strike-based policy with Google Ads, it's almost like you get four strikes because the first instance of a policy violation will get you a warning and Google will send you this through an email notification. So it's gonna be important of if you're the person who needs to receive these notifications, make sure you're getting those notifications within the settings of your Google Ads. So if you get a warning, you have a little bit of time to fix the policies to make sure that you don't go to the next step, which will be getting a strike. There is no downtime to any of your campaigns if you only get a warning. But like I said, you wanna fix those quick so you don't get to a first strike. Your first strike will occur if Google finds out that you're continuing to violate the specific policies after receiving your emailed warning. Once you get to the first strike, this will be the first instance where your account will be put on hold. And the hold for a first strike is three days. If you don't make any attempt to correct the policy violations within those three days, your account will continue to be on hold until you fix the policy violations. Anytime your account is on hold, it cannot run any ads. However, you can still go in the account and view historical metrics, those sort of things. Now, hopefully you have everything figured out here, but if you don't, you'll most likely get to a second strike. A second strike is going to occur if you continue to violate the same policy within 90 days of the first strike. Think of this as your final warning to get everything in line with the Google Ads policies. For a second strike, your account will once again be put on hold, but this time it's gonna be for seven days instead of three days. Just like the first strike, if you don't fix your policy violations within the seven days, your account will continue to be on hold. And just like the first strike again, you'll be able to access the account to view any historical information, but you cannot run any ads. And if you continue to violate some of these policies, you're gonna be hit with a third strike. The third strike will occur if you continue to violate the policies within 90 days of the second strike. Since you had one warning and two previous strikes, a third strike will lead to an account suspension. If your account is suspended, any other accounts related to the suspended account will also be suspended. You can appeal a suspended account, but from what I've heard, it's pretty hard to get a suspended account back to be enabled unless any sort of mistakes were reported. And just like the previous strikes, you can still access historical information from a suspended account, but you will no longer be able to create anything new. So let's say you received a warning or a first or second strike. What do you do? To make sure that you avoid getting an additional strike, you would wanna make sure you go into your account, correct any policy violations, and submit the acknowledgement form. We're gonna show you where it lives soon. If you feel that you have not violated any policies, you can appeal any of the warnings or strikes. It's gonna live on the same form as the acknowledgement form. So I'm gonna hop into the Google Ads help section and show you where this form lives. So on the screen right now, I'm in the advertising policies help section. We see this page includes both the appeal and acknowledgement form. I have the URL of where you can find this form on the screen right now, and it's also in the video description. So let's say you acknowledge the strike or the warning. You know you made a mistake. If you choose that option, you can scroll down. I skipped the part where you'd have to enter in your Google ID as well as your email contact information. So then you would have to acknowledge a few things, that you represent the customer ID that you had above, that you acknowledge which policies that you violated, you acknowledge that you fixed all the elements that caused the violation, and that you agree that you will not try to do any double serving. That's creating additional accounts to try to get around this violation while your account is potentially on hold and then you would submit. So let me go back up and click on the appeal option. If you did get a strike, that means your account is gonna be put on a temporary hold for either three or seven days, depending on which strike it is, you can appeal that decision, but it says in the section right here where my mouse is moving, a response can be within five business days. So if it's your first strike, you may not even hear back from them until after your strike could be lifted. And remember, if you don't make those changes within the three days, your account will remain on hold. So for your first strike, it could be more than the three days. I jumped down again a little bit more to avoid the same contact information. Here you would have to give your website some additional information, but most importantly, you would have to choose which policies that you're violating. And I'm recording this in May of 2022, so those nine additional policies are not included in this dropdown yet, but they will be. Give your reason explaining why you think you didn't violate the policy, and then you would submit. 
and that is all the information I have regarding the updates to Google Strike Base Enforcement System. If your business falls within any practices or industries that could be affected by the specific policies that we mentioned in this video, you need to be very careful. As I mentioned earlier, we have worked with a couple accounts that were teetering on the edge of it, if not definitely fell into these. And disapprovals and violations were very frequent. This is not something I would want to play around with and try to go around Google's rules. You will get caught eventually. If you have any questions on why disapprovals may be happening, why you're getting warnings or strikes, or how to go forward with any of the appeal processes, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.